I mean, this is an amazing apartment. Why would I ever move, you know? It's my favorite time of year Where love feels more to you And the meaning is clear is here. Is Hi friends! Welcome back to day 7 of Vlogmas. We're gonna do something, I'm just gonna make this a Vlogmas tradition because I did it last year, I did it the year before, but it's different every year. I keep changing and growing even though I'm in the same space and this is a nighttime tour of my apartment! Woo! Slash! my nighttime bedtime routine because there's a few little things I add and there's a few little ways my apartment has changed so let's go ahead and do it whether you're new here or you've seen literally every time I've ever done an apartment tour <laughs> da 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 welcome so when you walk into my apartment please ignore that sweater <laughs> I have a nice little hallway that looks into my bedroom, which we will get to. I have this little thing, this is brand new. I found it at a little like vintage shop, but I keep my keys, sunglasses, lip gloss here, a little candle, so it smells like a Christmas tree when I walk in. And yeah, that's really the entryway. I keep all my shoes right down there. Well, I have my shoes in like so many different locations. I have my coat closet with so many coats. Okay, sorry, it's dark in here. That's a peril of a nighttime vlog. All of these shoes, so many shoes. Yeah, it's a good little utility closet. We are gonna start in my office. This actually was my bedroom when I first moved in. So if you watch some of my old apartment tours um, in this apartment, this was my bedroom. It also used to have a blue wall and I have rearranged this room so many times and I finally, finally, finally feel like it's in the space it's supposed to be in. So even if you've seen like recent vlogs of mine, I don't know if you've seen my office like this. I just think it's way better. Da 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 da. So this is kind of like my utility room for everything. I have my couch, which is where guests sleep. You know, you saw me set it up for Aaron the other night of Vlogmas. Nice big lamp. I have my Peloton. Looking out to the water, there's the water through that, through that, <laughs> through that view. All my clothes around here, my running shoes, because I also have my closet in here. So this is my big main closet. And so a lot of my main clothes are in here. I honestly rent most of my clothing. So these are just kind of like staples that have been tried and true that I never wanted to get rid of. More shoes, holy cow. And then I also have like a linen slash blanket slash sweaters <laughs> slash, I don't know, all comfy stuff all throughout here. Where the magic happens, i.e where I do dream away and slingshot sessions right over here. I still have my notes out because I hosted a money date and dream away tonight. I love it like this. I love these. I've had these since I moved in. Faith and the crowd roars. I still have my leftover coffee. I cannot believe I didn't finish it. This is where I record my podcast episodes, my trusty little mic. And then I have a dry erase board, which has some Vlogmas ideas, so don't peek. And then over here, I have my little makeup area. I love this mirror. I can turn it on and it becomes like a full vanity moment. My makeup is mostly organized, but I tend to just keep it in the travel bag because I know these are like my main things, which is a separate issue. Then there is an, I guess you can call it like an ensuite bathroom. LOL that there's some makeup right there, but this is, ignore my pants that are drying, <laughs> my office bathroom slash the bathroom for my guests. I love, you'll see these in my other bathroom too, but these lights are amazing for a bathroom. Like I used to always do my makeup in here. A nice standing shower. I feel like a realtor as I'm saying this. There's a window, so this also looks out at the ocean. The ocean, am I kidding? That is literally the Hudson River. Am I manifesting moving to Miami? That was hilarious. Anyways, just another view of the space. It's always so cozy at night. And obviously it's dark a lot since it's December. I'm also getting ready for bed though, so I'm just gonna make sure I'm turning off my lights and everything. I'm taking my coffee from my desk so it's not just sitting there in the morning. Okay, so I'm about to take you into my living room slash dining room, which is so Christmas up and whatever. This is probably not a big surprise because I filmed it when I put up my Christmas tree, but I just love it at night. It's so cozy, especially with my Christmas tree. I'm just so grateful for it. So again, you're in this hallway. Feels like you're here with me. Oh, first of all, I have this nice photo of Lake Como and you can see the reflection of the Christmas tree. I also have two other New Yorker prints. 
cute little dogs. So it's like a funny animal story from Slingshot Sessions. And then New York City in the fall on a rainy day. So you walk through here. Da -da -da -da. And here is the living room slash kitchen. I'll also show you my holiday decor. This is from Anthropology. Like you can feel them. It's almost like they really, they really have a hat. This is a chair from Amazon that I've had since I moved in. I love this chair. It's a swivel chair. This couch is from ABC Furniture. It was on major sale when I got it. All of these pillows and everything are all from Anthro Living. How cute, we have snow angels. We have skiers, a group skiing, and just a cozy white couch. I definitely always have to put down like blankets because I feel like I'm always like spilling coffee or getting my spray tan on things. I also have a mirror right here, which very much so opens up the space. Just, you know, some books over here, candles, I like to use this light at night when I don't have my Christmas tree shining bright. So if I didn't have my Christmas tree up right now, I would use this little lamp. And then this is actually something that my best friend Rachel got me or made for me. It's my Worth the Flight album cover. But if you look closely in the background, there are all of these different words and they're actually from comments people have left on my singing videos to give me encouragement. It's so sweet. Like, I truly feel so proud of you for doing all of it. Oh, this one's sweet to see right now. Your dream life in your New York City apartment motivates me so much. This one made my jaw drop. Just so sweet for encouragement. You guys know I'm really trying to like fry my brain for encouragement. Okay, so then we have the kitchen area. This is the fridge, freezer, and then it's pretty self-explanatory. I have my dining room table. I love that it's glass. I think that really opens up a space. These chairs are from World Market. And it was originally gonna be like four chairs here, but <laughs> my piano got involved. And so this is where I sit to write, write songs. And then this little guy used to be in that corner for my morning journaling, but he's just operating right here. Out here we have a balcony, but obviously I'm not out there because it's so freaking cold. And then here's just another view of the kitchen, dish towels, tea, air fryer. This light is one of my favorite parts of my entire apartment. It's from Amazon, it was really cheap actually, but we had to like individually put in each of those little string things into that ball. And then over here I have the Samsung frame TV, so it looks like a photo, but it's actually the television. Of course, some Christmas candles, my filming light, and my friend Alyssa got this for me. Obviously I didn't win a Grammy for Worth the Flight, and it's too late to win Song of the Year 2023, but that's okay, that's okay. Maybe I'll just leave it like this, so my brain doesn't take on specifics. My guitars, they're in the holiday spirit too. They're like, let's write a Christmas song. And just my cute little tree. I have a little flower here, some other books, coffee table books. This book is amazing. It's The Miracle Power of Your Mind by Joseph Murphy. And then my friend Jess got me the Amalfi Coast coffee table book. And then this little device is part of my nighttime routine now. So I will show you that. First, however, I will show you Lola the Lion, who's lately been wearing sunglasses because she's too cool for school. All of my mugs. And then I have another really big mirror right here, which once again opens up the space tremendously mirrors are freaking everything especially with so many like windows behind me and everything this is just such a cool view such a cool view i've actually been thinking about getting the big anthropology floor mirror if you guys know what i'm talking about it's like this big floor mirror that comes all the way up and then i was thinking about getting like shelves to go up here by my nespresso machine for all my mugs and then getting rid of this but then i don't know where lola would go so that might be way too much I then have a wine fridge, which my friend Renee just gave to me when she was moving out. Over here, I have a lot of like mocktail stuff that's been sent to me. And then of course my Nespresso corner where it's, that's a hot spot. That is a hot spot. Then we have my bathroom, but it's also the guest bathroom, like, you know, guests who aren't staying with me. The shower curtains from Anthropology. This is from Amazon, I believe. You look good, like how cute is that? Same like amazing mirror with the light and I also like to turn this little guy on just at night. I don't leave it on all night because that's like drains power, but it's a little Himalayan night lamp. So watch how cute this is. Oh, what a great lighting. Time for the bedroom. So the lights are currently off in here, but I try to keep them off at night and just keep the nice red light of the Himalayan salt lamp. This is so loud. That's my air purifier though. And I also really love the like white noise aspect of it at night. It's so comfy and cozy just to 
just to hear that and make sure my air is purified. Here's my bedroom. Chester's already in bed. Sorry to disturb you, Chess. I just have two big lamps on either side. Hopefully I'm keeping the cozy vibes going. My TV is right here where I watch Gilmore Girls. Then I have a nice cozy rug. And I always sleep on this side. I'm not sure why, but I never sleep on that side of the bed. It's always this side. So my alarm clock is right there. It's my hatch alarm clock. TV remote, obviously. My bed buddy, which is this nice warm thing you guys will see me heat up and use. <laughs> I love it on my feet. And then Chester, are you gonna say hello? I was going to bed early. So I have another closet in here. So I obviously have a lot and it's all organized. So all right here, we have all of my sweaters, sweatshirts, hats. Then over on this side are basic shirts and some pajama tops over here. And then my suitcases, some other slippers, extra pillows and stuff for guests. So as far as closet space goes and clothes space, clothes space goes, doing well. And then I have some other clothes here, like pajamas, swimsuits, workout clothes, underwear, bra, like all that good stuff. So I just love my space. I have thought like multiple times, like, oh, I'm gonna look for a new apartment. Like maybe it's time for fresh energy, but I love my apartment so much. I'm like, why would I ever move? Like it just suits me. It just, I love it here, so. I feel like actually my first year here was in 2021 and I thought for sure I was going to move out after one year because I kind of had a hard year emotionally, but then I swapped out my office and my bedroom and that changed up the vibe a lot. And since then I just really feel like I've like deepened into this being my home and I've added different touches and like so many people I love have been here and I've had such good memories in this space and so it's like... This is the best apartment ever. I love it. It's giving, you know, Carrie Bradshaw being in that West Village apartment for like her entire life. I mean, this is an amazing apartment. Why would I ever move, you know? Okay, so let's go ahead and get ready for bed. Let's go through the whole little routine. Usually I would wash my face, but I got an afternoon spray tan that I'm actually gonna sleep in. It's pretty dry, so no, no face washing tonight. But don't worry. At night, I love to take magnesium. So I just take one little supplement at night. I already took it, so sorry, I should have filmed that. And then I keep my water by my bed. And then something I love to do that just really makes sure that I feel good when I wake up tomorrow morning is I make sure my coffee pot is all ready to go. So let's get it set up. So now for what I have been doing, that is my new little nighttime routine, and this is not an ad, but it helps so much. I was noticing that my nervous system is like so wound up. Like I just am thinking about like way too much. I'm excited about way too much. And I needed to figure out a way to like move through that. Breath work helps. Obviously EFT tapping is like my heart and my soul. But my friend V, hi V, V actually found me freaking through Vlogmas and then she came to my retreat and now we're literally best friends and she just adds so much to my life. Anyway, she told me about this device. It's called a Sensate. S-E-N-S-A-T-E. -E. Basically what you do is you lay down and I'm gonna put this on my chest, like right here. And then I'm gonna put on headphones. Here's the app, Sensate. And then I'm able to select a track. They have so many good options. I really like just through space and time. There's one called Be Sensate. It's literally their theme track and it's really good. And what I'm gonna do is select track, start session, and then I will lay down. It's right next to Chester. It lays right here and it's buzzing. It's vibrating kind of in synchronicity with what I'm listening to. And it stimulates the vagus nerve, which is so relaxing. It really calms you down. The other day I was feeling so anxious because of my song release and like so much was happening and I was about to get on like a big phone call and I just felt so tense. And I just laid down with this guy, and all you do is just lay here and just feel it. Chester, what do you think? And I felt my whole body relax. So it's just been a really great way to decompress, let the day melt away, and relax my body before it being time for bed so that I can actually fall asleep and not be like thinking, thinking, thinking. Okay, I'm feeling infinitely more relaxed. That's usually what I do right before I go to sleep. However, I forgot to show you guys my bed buddy. <laughs> Okay, this is a little thing called a bed buddy. It's literally called a bed buddy and I'm gonna go heat it up. I love this, I even use it in the summer. It's not just for cold nights. You heat it up in the microwave. It has like these little beans in it or whatever, but you heat it up for two and a half minutes 
and it becomes very warm and it kind of smells like bread like my dad whenever I whenever I heat it up when I'm at his house he's like did you just make some bread because it really does like smell like bread or milk or something but it's now is like the most comforting smell in the world to me so Speaking of my dad, my dad is actually a sleep doctor. And he says that as humans, we sleep best when it's very, very cold, but we're like tucked into blankets. And when it's completely, completely dark. Obviously, not a huge issue where like we sleep in the dark, but I try to make sure it's so cold that I can like pile on thick blankets on top of me and feel like the safety of the blankets and the warmth that plus my bed buddy and it's just so nice and it's freezing like you know when i wake up in the morning but then i just put on a sweater and i call it a day i also want to show you guys i got four seasons bedding it was my birthday present to myself this year and i'm obsessed i wish you could feel it like through through the um camera duvet cover a duvet pillows sheets it's so soft it's so wonderful the four seasons is my absolute favorite it's just such a treat when i get to stay there and I actually stayed at the Four Seasons in Paris for my birthday, which was another <laughs> birthday gift to myself that I just really wanted to do as a vision board item. I stayed just for two nights and I was having the time of my life in Paris, but like I also desperately wanted to just stay in bed because it was so comfortable. So not an ad for the Four Seasons, but that would be amazing. <laughs> I just love, love, love their product. Love it. All lights are turning off. I'm getting so sleepy, especially after using the Sunsea and feeling so much more calm and relaxed. Bed buddy's almost ready, sorry I'm in the dark, and then it's gonna be zzz time. First the little Gilmore girls, you know, you know, gotta get my Gilmore girls in, but this is time. My earmuffs are my favorite songs. The ones we sing until dawn. Christmas Eve with not even one yawn. I take his hand as we skate through Wonderland. 